What's going on guys? It's your man Ed Hayes, the Wholesale Coach here, back for another video guys. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how and why you need to bring on house hunters onto your team. You know, some people call them bird dogs, some people call them property locators. I'm going to show you how to bring these people onto your team using the same exact methods that I use to bring them on. And sometimes I get 50 to 75 responses responses in a day from using this method guys so i hope that you pump for this content let's go here let's get into it i want it all expensive trip excited calls when i took that love all right guys so we're here on the computer now and we're on craigslist now i gotta say man so many people are asleep on craigslist so if you sleep you need to wake up go check out craigslist check out my craigslist domination strategy video that i have uh, is gonna pop up as a card right above me right now if you haven't checked that out check out that craigslist domination strategy so you can see how i go in i dominate craigslist i make sure that my posts are seen whenever i post them Okay, now let's go ahead, let's let's get into this, guys. So on Craigslist is where you're gonna start, okay? And you're gonna go to create a posting, okay? So you're just gonna start off, you're gonna create a posting, it's in the top left corner, and then you're gonna click on your area. So I'm gonna click on the city of Chicago for this um, example. And then you're gonna be looking to hire someone for a gig. So you're gonna click on gig offered. Um, and then you're gonna tell them that you want to hire someone. Then from there, you're going to click labor gigs. Now, I will give you a disclaimer. This post will cost you $7 to post, which is a very small amount for what you're going to get for, for it. So click on labor gigs, and then it's going to give you the opportunity to actually start creating your post. Okay, so instead of actually doing this entire Craigslist post right here, I'm just going to show you all what it looks like once it's all done. Um, one thing that I didn't add on this one was a picture. So that's something that I would recommend, probably put a picture of a vacant property there. But essentially, what you'll be telling them is that, hey, we need vacant house hunters ASAP. Uh, you know, you can earn $500 to $1,000 per deal that we close on. Um, you let them know that you'll pay them on the day of closing. You all can read all of this information on this Craigslist post that you're checking out right here. But this post works okay all around the nation all of my clients are using this same post and they're getting quality house hunters going out finding deals for them okay so this is where it all begins is right here at this post now you may see on the bottom right here that i've got a link to my website and i'm telling them to go fill out a form um however you don't have to do that like you don't have to go start up a whole website and get a form it would be a lot simpler but what you could have at the bottom of yours instead of saying um you know here's my you know my website and go fill out the form you could be telling them hey shoot me a text or email to blank email and blank phone number so there you go right there and they give you an option to add your email address and phone number and other contact information when you are uh, in the process of creating the ad. OK, so this is just the beginning, though. So now you put the ad up on Craigslist, you pay just seven dollars. People are going to start reaching out to you. OK, now uh, I'm warning you right now, it's going to be overwhelming at the beginning. It may be overwhelming for most people that I've worked with. They say it was like crazy. So it's typically no less than like 30 to like 60 people that's reaching out to you, depending on the size of the area that you choose as your target location. OK, so but that's a lot of people to be following up with in a day. OK, so so give yourself some time, be patient, but have your responses prepared. OK, so one of the things that I send them out so people will respond back, let's say through email in your situation, they'll respond through email and they'll be like, hey, I'm interested in the job. What do I need to do next? And what I'll do is that I'll send them my house hunting 101 guide and a contract to get started. Sometimes I'll just like I've tested this. I spit it like that. So sometimes I'll send them both documents together. Sometimes I'll just send them house hunting 101, get some feedback from that, see if they're still interested. So but you want to make it as easy as possible for these people to come onto your team. But at the same time, you don't want to make it too easy and then they don't appreciate the opportunity. Okay, that's super key. All right, so here's House Hunting 101. 
So once they respond back, they say, hey, I'm interested. I'm shooting them over this document. This is giving them the road map to making money with my business. OK, so and uh, all you have to do is just pretty much copy and paste this information or just shoot them out the document. That's all we're doing. We either put it into the email. We shoot them out the document. OK, so it's super, super easy. We're telling them what we're looking for, what we're not looking for, how to spot a vacant or distressed property, what areas we're interested in. Uh, you know, we're telling them uh, what to do once you find a property. And this part right here is golden, as well as the what areas that we're looking for. So all of this kind of comes once you find your buyers already. So your buyers have already told you, hey, I'm interested in X, Y, Z areas. Then you want to put out this Craigslist post and, and let your house hunters know which areas you're most interested in. You don't want them just hunting anywhere. You want them hunting where they have the highest opportunity of getting paid. But we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a sec. OK, so uh, we tell them also, like I said, what to do once they find the property. So they've got a five hundred dollar payout option and a thousand dollar payout option. They can pretty much just text or email me the property to earn a five hundred dollar assignment fee. Well, not assignment fee, but a finder's fee, pretty much marketing fee. And then for the thousand dollar option, I give them the exact steps to go into the tax assessor's website and get the information that I'll need to be able to close on the property. Okay. So I let them know that a property's owner's a property owner's name is crucial to us buying a property and getting you paid. So it's little things like that. I make sure that I bold it like a lot of the things that's people ask often. So they, you know, a lot of people are just going to glance through here anyway. So you want to be answering as many questions as possible. So then I tell them what happens after I send the address. Uh, how do I get paid? Um, and then tips and strategies on the best methods that they can use to actually get paid. I'm letting them know go early in the day, you know, compile a vacant house list over the course of like a week. Talk to your friends and family and list the help of friends and family, uh, you know, making sure that their safety is important to us, letting them know that to not be driving and trying to take down addresses and things like that. And we also tell them to get out of the car, you know, that to knocking on the doors of the the homeowners, uh, neighbors, a lot of times is the most valuable way to get this information and the quickest way as well. So we try to provide as much um, information to them as possible and try to answer as many questions as possible with this house hunting one-on-one -on -one document. Once we do that, then we'll get responses back like, hey, yeah, I'm interested. This sounds right up my alley. How do I get started? Okay. So once they say that, then I'm going to be responding back with an email with our house hunter work agreement, guys. Okay, here, let me just slide this over. So on this work agreement, this is actually their contract to start working for us, okay, as an independent contractor. So uh, pretty much like, you know, you just fill out the contract or whatever. It's really, really straightforward. I'm not really going to break this down or whatever, but it ex explains everything that they can't just go get a property from like Redfin or Zillow, Google, things of that nature. Um, it lets them know um, how they get paid. And we also tell them that the document is for them to sign. Like they need to sign the document for them. So we make sure that we're paying them if it comes down to us getting a property that we close on. We want to make sure that they feel comfortable. That's why I like this work agreement versus doing it without it. So, you know, that makes people feel empowered. They're like, oh, I'll sue your ass, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. You want people to feel as empowered as possible. OK, so I'm not going to explain this contract, but pretty much like once they send back the contract, then they are officially on as a house hunter on our team. Now, we may have a conversation with them afterwards. We typically have um, we have like an email sequence, an email uh, sequence that we send to them over the course of about two weeks, just letting them know, um, like, hey, you know, make sure that you're out there getting these deals. Hey, here are the best ways to 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 find the properties. Hey, um, have you come across any deals? Make sure you send them our way. Things like that. So we've got like a nurturing campaign that happens after they actually sign this document and they send it back to us. So you could just shoot it to them um, just like this as a document. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend like saving this uh, Word document as a PDF and then send it to them like that. And then send it like um, you can either send it through email, which I probably wouldn't recommend. I would recommend sending it through DocuSign or Sign Easy. I'll probably have the links to both of those sites in the description. Uh, 
But either way, so like, boom, they're on your team, right? But not every situation is going to work that smoothly. So some people are going to be asking like, hey, um, you know, I've got a few more questions about the business. Do you have anything that you can send me to kind of let me know more about your company? So that's when I'll send them our welcome guide which kind of just breaks down what we do as a business um, and how we work with our employees, what they need to be doing and how we are as a company. OK, so this uh, this document right here, actually, this welcome guide is a great way to kind of ingratiate people who may be on the fence and they need just a little bit tipping over. This works amazingly um, in that case. Let's put it like that. I don't think that I've sent this out to like personally sent it out to anybody that wasn't like, oh, OK, yeah, 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 I'm interested. How do I sign up? So this may you may need to use this document um, or document like it to be able to just let them know a little bit more about the company. People want to feel a little bit more comfortable. So things that you can add on here that I may not I have the website on there. So there's something that you will want to have on there. If you have a website, put your website on there. Um, you know, if you've got a, a business email address, put your business email address on there, things of that nature. So they know that you're legit. OK, so that's pretty much about it. But this this last document is pretty much just telling like, hey, we're a real estate company out of Chicago. You know, we work with uh, buyers in a variety of different situations, like foreclosure, divorce, uh, vacant, out of state, inherited property, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we let them know that we connect these homeowners to our investor partners. So we're not out here telling them that we are the buyers. We're letting them know that we work with other investor partners. So full disclosure, full transparency all the way through, guys. It's super, super important. OK, so I just showed you how to hire on these house hunters onto your team using Craigslist. But I just want to dive in onto why you need to hire these house hunters onto your team okay so let's just go ahead and get it started so first off the number one reason why you need house hunters is going to be automated lead flow okay so this is going to save you a lot of time from having to go out go look for these driving for dollars properties yourself and driving for dollars leads are some of the best leads out there, but someone else is going to be out there doing it for you versus you having to spend your time. OK, number two is going to be commissions. OK, you don't pay until it closes. Pay once it closes. OK, so you'll only be paying commissions for your house hunters so you don't have to come out of pocket to be able to build up this house hunter team okay and then next <clears throat> driving for dollars leads are some of the best leads out there so my favorite thing about driving for dollars leads is that very often those are going to be leads that aren't going to be on anybody else's list OK, so, you know, if you get a list anywhere on the Internet, someone else can get that same list, which means that there's a decent probability that you've got some competition. Somebody else is trying to work those same leads. Now, when you're doing driving for dollars, it's very likely that those leads aren't going to be on anybody else's list. You can catch Miss Johnson right after she just went to the nursing home or something like that. You can reach out to her husband. Boom. Now you've got a deal in the mix. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, especially if you know the area that you're working in, you may have seen this property out here uh, vacant for the last 10 years. You may know the situation of this person. So driving for dollars leads are some of the best leads on the market period. OK, and you can't just buy them online. The only thing that you can do is hire someone or go out and do it yourself. OK. So next, the next reason why you want to be hiring house hunters is that you're going to be boosting the economy. OK, so like you're actually putting people to work, you're creating situations for other people to be able to make money. So you're general, like genuinely helping out your community. You're providing job opportunities. You're putting people to work and boosting the economy, literally, guys. So people need us to keep making money, guys. OK. So and then lastly, you're going to be leveraging other people's time. Now, this is the best part about hiring house hunters to me, because all successful business owners know 
that you can't get successful alone, okay? And time is our greatest asset. So with that being said, time being our greatest asset, the best entrepreneurs out there are all about buying other people's time. I want to save my time more than anything else. I only get so much time, right? So when you're leveraging other people's time, instead of it just being you going out there, going to go look for vacant and distressed properties in your area, you've literally like multiplied yourself by 15, 20, 50, like you've multiplied your efforts and therefore you've extended your time. You've purchased someone else's time. Even if it's just on a commission basis, people will go out there and put in that work for you and save you that time of having to go out and do it yourself. All right, so I've got a few disclaimers to kind of go along with this video. So first off, don't try to use these strategies if you don't know what to do next. Once someone sends you an address, if, if you're not sure yet, if you don't have the expertise or the knowledge yet to know how to process this lead, how to take it down, how to get the owner's information, how to reach out to that owner and how to put it under contract and find a buyer for it to get it sold, then I would recommend like get yourself knowledgeable enough first before you start hiring on people. Okay, like so these people are gonna be dependent on you to make it happen. So kind of keep that in mind. You don't want to just be leading people on, making them think that you're going to be able to make it happen for them. And you don't really have the knowledge necessary to get it done. Next is that, like, don't forget that, like, you have to follow up with these people. All of the money is in the follow up, guys. So it's not, it's like, it's going to be very, very rare that you get like a first phone call. This is a deal. Sign me up. Let me sign the contract type situation. It's not going to happen. So make sure sure that you're following up consistently with these individuals to actually get them onto the team. Okay, so when you first put out your Craigslist ad, I also want you to know that it can be extremely overwhelming to a lot of people. So like when you first put it out, it's very, very likely that you'll get 30, 60, 75 responses in the first 24 hours of people reaching out to you. So just so you all know, the documents that you saw in this video are available to you. I'm gonna have a link in the description of this video where you all can grab all of the documents that I use to hire on these people, including like the, the Craigslist post, the welcome guide, the house hunting 101, the contract. I've even got my purchase and sale agreement in there as well. So I want you all to have these resources so you don't really have to reinvent the wheel and try to figure it all out. House hunters are literally some of our greatest assets on our team. That's why I'm trying to bring this video to you all because this is the only free way that I know to bring in driving for dollars leads outside of going to go do it for yourself. Okay, but even if you can do it yourself, I still recommend bring on some people. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be people on Facebook or Craigslist. But bring on these people that are willing to go hunt for houses for you and then you just be solidified on the other end with your buyers so you can take these properties down, y'all. Bringing on house hunters onto your team can be an invaluable asset to you, okay? You don't have to pay them up front. It's all commission, but just make sure that you're not putting the cart before the horse and reaching out to these house hunters and building up that team before you know what to do once they bring the leads, okay? But if you're confident, if you're comfortable, if you know what to do to push these leads out and get to the closing table, guys, go ahead, put that Craigslist ad up. Go ahead, start getting these people on your team. You can sit here, pause the video, and just copy everything that I have inside of those documents, or you can use the link in the description of this video and just download those files and just, just copy and paste all of the information into, into the emails, into the Craigslist ad, make your life easy, guys. I'm putting y'all on to the game as always. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. If it helped, go ahead, hit that like button, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know, I try to make at least a couple wholesaling videos every week, but I've got a question for you all in this video. So for you all watching this, do you all have house, house hunters already? And if so, how do you like it? And then also, who's gonna start building up that 
house hunter team following watching this video if it helped guys like i said hit that like button join my facebook group wholesale deals and strategies if you want to keep the conversation going guys and follow me on instagram at the wholesale coach all right guys till next time i am out